Octave, a subsidiary of Nord Motion, has just launched three brand new electric vehicles. They include the Lutu, which is a city electric vehicle built for open mobility. The Vond, a logistic van for businesses. And lastly, the Garant, the classy and powerful electric vehicle that is turning heads everywhere. Today, we are taking a close look at these new Tave electric vehicles. We will take a good look at their specs, their build quality, and what they mean for the future of electric mobility in Nigeria. I also went to the street to ask few Nigerians, which include car dealers and car owners, what they feel about the electric vehicle. I am Kennedy Mweze, but you can call me Simple Ken. I will be your anchor for this ride. Before we dive in, I would love you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. By doing so, you are showing a whole lot of support to this guy. All right, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. On November 5th, 2025, Something historic happened. The Nigerian Senate moved the electric vehicle transition and green mobility bill to its second reading. The bill, which is sponsored by Senator Ojos Okalu, is a big deal. It is designed to regulate, accelerate, and reshape how Nigeria adopts electric vehicles. Now, if this bill passes, Nigeria will join Rwanda and Ethiopia among the few African countries with fully structured EV laws. But unlike them, Nigerians' approach is tougher with street oversight heavy compliance and mandatory local partnership. Here's what this law entails. Foreign automakers must partner with Nigerian companies. By 2030, 30% of vehicle components must be locally made. Thirdly, every few stations will have to install EV charging points. And lastly, only certified companies can import or sell EVs. Any violator will face a 500 million naira fine per shipment. In all this, this is Nigerians' bold step towards industrialization, thereby creating jobs, encouraging battery production, especially now that lithium has been discovered locally and reviving our once great auto industry. However, this Nigerian bill is far different from bills from other African countries. In Kenya, they are using tax breaks and reduced import duties to make EVs cheaper. While in Rwanda, they offer fully tax exceptions and they are even phasing out petrol motorbikes by 2025 in Kigali. However, Nigerian strategy is to give the local markets full control, which could transform our automobile sector. And let's be real, there are over 10,000 to 15,000 electric vehicles already in Nigeria, and the demand is growing at over 30% every year. With this, the market will transform a whole lot in the nation. Before we dive into Tave electric cars, let me show you the components or the things that consist an electric vehicle. An electric vehicle is made up of three systems, which are the propulsion system, consisting the motor, inverter, transmission and vehicle control units, the energy storage and management system which includes the battery pack, chargers and charging ports, DC and AC converter, auxiliary battery and finally the power control units. Number three, we have the vehicle structure. This consists the chassis, body panels, enclosure and the braking systems, especially regenerative brakes that recover energy while you slow down. So basically an EV isn't just a car, they are more like computers on wheels. While researching on this video, I stumbled on a video from the Die podcast asking this bold question, will Nigeria ever use the EVs? Will Nigerians ever use EVs or will NEPA not allow us to be great? It depends though. Like driving without hearing noise, <laughs> ah, man it's, it's another level. Like EV, just that. Nigerian roads. I mean, we're talking about 30 million, 40 million naira. How many can bring out that money? As but, well? but, but, I mean, look at the video you posted now. Yes. 32 million naira. There are people that are saying, ah, for 32 million naira, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. Like, that got me thinking, instead of just reading stars and making research online, why not go to the streets to ask we Nigerians this question? So I did. I spoke with everyday drivers, car dealers, and mechanics, and trust me, their response were missed. This is what I, I believe. Uh, Nigerians are have a general culture which is adapting to things easily. So, um, accepting electric vehicles, I think, is going to be something really hard. Okay, for a, the perfect example is the CNG. Um, we will observe that a general, a regular, rather, a regular um, yellow vehicle in Lagos and the tricycle at least let's say 10 percent now uses CNG. So I think the 
narrative that it will be accepted might not really be true. I think Nigerians are used to change that, and I think electric vehicles would would go really well in the country. People would accept it. I believe on electrical cars before you can walk. We need stations. Our lights, hundred percent. We have to have hundred percent light. Without light, stability of light cannot work in Nigeria. Concerning the uh, electric car, I believe in the coming future in Nigeria years we are going to embrace it. Nigeria will definitely embrace it because of what us. Nigeria have had so many problems concerning fuel scarcity in this country. We have had so many problems concerning scarcity, and for the fact that it's going to be a very, I mean, laser problem for them, as in the maintenance. You know, I know that the electric car just come on. The by three to four years, so it's still be like clean the metal team, the metal team can't see me done with the I think we have fuel base. The reason it being that uh, electric car is we are already being introduced into Nigeria market. You know, uh, because of the uh, durability of the uh, fuel cars, fuel powered cars. Now let's talk about the company behind the boss the node motion in the spirit of innovation the node motion launched their ev division called the tavern motion and they came out swinging with three impressive models the tavern vans the tavern luto and the tavern garants i will break down their specifications one after the other for the tavern vans it is an electric workhouse built for logistics and delivery companies the van is practical and powerful it has a range up to 305 kilometers it charges from 20 to 80 percent in just 45 minutes. This is a DC fast charging and also charges fast on AC about 5 to 14 hours. The settings are two. The motor power is 60 kilowatts. The braking system is ABS plus EBD. It has features like reverse camera, parking sensors, LCD central display, Bluetooth with voice control and GPS navigation. It is a kind of EV that could redefine how Nigerian logistic companies move goods. It is clean, quiet, and cost efficient. Secondly, let's look at the Tave Luto. It is a city champion. If you live in busy cities like Lagos and Abuja, this one is for you. It is basically used for transport, something like Uber for city mobility. It comes with a four door compact body. Fourth seat, the motor rating is about 13 kilowatt. It has a maximum speed of 100 km per hour and a battery capacity of 70.28 kWh. The range is about 200 km, enough for 2-3 to three days of regular city driving before you will charge. It is a railway drive. It has features like electric trunk release, reverse camera with guidelines. This car is perfect for ride hailing, taxis, or for anybody looking for affordable urban electric mobility. Now the last of these three, which is the one I love the most, Tavel Garant. I call this a crown jewel. This is where performance meets tight. The, the body type is a five-door lift pack. It has spice seat. Battery options are between 6.83 kilowatt hour and 70.26 kilowatt hour. The range is about 530 to 620 kilometers. It has a top speed of 165 km per hour. Qualcomm Snapdragon 8155 chip processor. This chip is the brain behind its smart features and AI assisted driving. It has an adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking. I will be doing a hands on review on one of these Tavel EVs in my next video. And trust me, you don't want to miss it. EVs are no longer a distant dream in Nigeria right now. There's this prediction that by 2030, Three out of every 10 vehicles you see on the road could be an EV. Just imagine a vehicle with a cleaner air, lesser noise and lower fuel costs, plus a booming local industry creating jobs and innovation. If you are given an option, would you go for an electric vehicle or would you be waiting till the infrastructure improves? Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. I'm Simple Ken. Until next time, keep it charged, keep it creative.